Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching Top 10's Net, and in the video today, we're looking at the Top 10 CGI effects that you totally thought were real. Sometimes computer-generated effects, they stand out like a sore thumb. Sometimes it's just blatantly obvious when an actor is standing in front of a green screen. Well, today we're going to talk about effects that are so seamless you never actually realized they were CGI. Number 10. Zodiac David Fincher is one of the most meticulous directors in the industry, and he's known to leave nothing to chance. This is a guy who films hundreds of takes of just pouring glasses of water. He wants everything to be perfect, everything to be controlled, so it's no surprise that he'd utilize visual effects. What is surprising is that he'd use it for a crime scene in a seemingly easy location. In the 2007 film Zodiac, Mark Ruffalo's character investigates what appears to be a quiet suburban San Francisco neighborhood. The truth is that the whole neighborhood had been digitally rendered. As a result of using CGI, Fincher was able to have a greater control over the lighting and thus do as many takes as he felt necessary. It did however take the work of an extremely talented team to make the neighborhood have an authentic feel. And they succeeded. They tricked most people into believing that it was absolutely a real location. Number 9. A Beautiful Mind In the 2001 movie about the life of mathematician John Nash, one of the film's most heart-wrenching scenes relied on the use of visual effects just in time. It looks completely real, and it leaves the viewers shaken and disturbed. The truth is that Ron Howard, the director of the movie, shot the baby in the bathtub without the water, and then shot the tub as the water filled up. The water was then superimposed over the baby, who, adding to the drama, began to cry. It's a powerful scene that would only really be possible by the use of CGI. Number 8. The Wolf of Wall Street There was so much in this Martin Scorsese film that's not real, it's actually pretty hard to name them all. Namely, all the exteriors used VFX to add an element of grandeur and excess to the settings. The surrounding houses on the waterfront were all added by the special effects team to make Jordan Belfort's palace really stand out. And probably one of the surprising uses of CGI was a scene that was supposed to take place in Italy. As Margot Robbie's character walks down the dock, she's surrounded by water and men steering gondolas. It looks like a beautiful day in Italy. Instead, it's just another day shooting in front of a green screen. Other memorable moments of CGI include the lion walking past the brokers who are busy making calls. This, of course, doesn't surprise anyone, but it's still remarkable how real it looked on the screen. The lion and his trainer were filmed walking down the aisles, and then the trainer was removed from the shot, and the brokers were added later. Number 7. Brokeback Mountain it's hard to trust an animal to not ruin a scene, and it's harder to trust a large group of sheep. Brokeback Mountain, the story of two sheep herders who have a discreet affair that lasts for 20 years, didn't use much CGI. However, the director felt it was necessary after the sheep became unruly. According to reports, Ang Lee struggled constantly with the sheep during the shoot, trying to get them to drink from running water for the sake of a scene. Eventually, he was forced to give up on this shot. Lee's efforts to create an authentic film would not be in vain, though. The relationship between Heath Ledger and Jake Gyllenhaal's characters was so powerful and genuine that both were nominated for Oscars for their portrayals of two closeted gay men. And that's one thing visual effects will probably never be able to duplicate, and that's the power of human emotions. Number 6. Machete in the era of Me Too, it's refreshing to hear a story of an actress standing up for herself on a set long before the movement started. In the movie, Jessica Alba appears nude in a bathroom scene. Well, kind of, but not really. It looks real, but she's actually wearing white undergarments. Alba's publicist stated that she and Robert Rodriguez, the film's director, made that decision together. Alba had vowed to never appear nude in any of her movies, stating that she had grown up in a strict Catholic home. In order to honor her upbringing, she felt it wouldn't be right to show her body for a role. Despite Alba's acceptance of CGI, many viewers were left disappointed and bewildered at the future of visual effects and nudity. Some film critics argued that the vulnerability and openness that comes from being naked shouldn't be replaced with effects. And if we're being honest here, that does kind of just sound like a couple of guys who are upset that they didn't get their money's worth. Number 5. The Social Network if you're like us, after you saw The Social Network, you were shocked to discover that there aren't two army hammers. And this is why David Fincher again makes our list for his masterful use of CGI. 
In interviews, Fincher stated that they tried to find twins who could play the roles of the Winklevoss brothers, but they couldn't find a pair that were as good as Hammer. Instead, they had an actor named Josh Pence stand in for the second twin in shots where they were both on camera. Hammer would later go into a studio where his head was strapped into a harness to film the twin's face and lend his voice to the dialogue. The VFX team then superimposed Hammer's face onto Pence's in the movie. Fincher felt bad that Pence would never really be seen on the screen and decided to give him a cameo in the movie, bumping into Eduardo and Zuckerberg after they hook up with two girls in a bathroom. It was a nice gesture from one of the best in the industry. Number 4. Mad Max Fury Road In a previous video, we praised Mad Max Fury Road for its use of practical effects. However, the film also did utilize CGI to make the surroundings more perilous. One time when CGI was used very skillfully was after the storm, when Max teamed up with Furiosa and the wives aboard the war rig. As the war parties chase after them, Furiosa speeds toward a narrow canyon where a biker gang detonates the rock walls, closing the path. The canyon in the film was an augmented depiction, made to make it narrower and taller. Making the canyon narrower added to the feeling of danger, while extending the canyon made the explosion that much more epic. Director George Miller used VFX as a supplement to immerse the viewer in the world, never allowing them to question the setting. It made for an unbelievable thrill ride that was nominated for 10 Oscars, including, naturally, one for its visual effects. Number 3. Die Hard with a Vengeance In general, the simplest uses of visual effects are the ones that wind up saving the cast and crew from encountering any unnecessary problems while filming. In the third installment of the Die Hard series, Detective John McClane is commanded by the villain Simon to wear a sign bearing the N-word smack in the middle of Harlem. Now, obviously, the issue wasn't just fictional. It would have been more than a little awkward to have Bruce Willis strolling around a city with that strapped to his body. Risking a commotion or any disturbance to their filming schedule would cost time, which on any film set is money. So the actual message was added digitally in post-production, with both the I Hate N-Word and I Hate Everybody inserted, the latter appearing on the network television version of the show. Number 2. Children of Men Directed by Alfonso Cuaron, Children of Men is one of the few works of science fiction that will continue to be relevant for as long as man draws breath. It's set in the United Kingdom in a futuristic period where infertility has threatened man's existence. As immigrants are persecuted and detained, a disillusioned bureaucrat is thrust into trying to protect what could be the world's only pregnant woman. The survival of this woman is of course paramount to the continuation of mankind. One of the most important moments of the film is when she's going to give birth. It's an extremely powerful moment, and it's even more remarkable because the baby was generated entirely from CGI. At first, Quaron gave the actors an animatronic baby, but it did not move with the characteristics of a newborn. The decision was then made to go from digital enhancement to full digital replacement. It meant they had to reshoot the birth scenes, but it was well worth it. Number 1. Blood Diamond We've chronicled the use of CGI to make a movie more epic, or it being used to superimpose faces or images, but we haven't yet seen a case of a director deciding to use it to improve a performance. That is until now. In the film Blood Diamond, director Edward Zwick decided to add a single tear during the final phone call between a wounded Leonardo DiCaprio and Jennifer Connelly. In the movie, rebels had begun to surround Leo, and it's clear that he's going to die. Connelly does provide plenty of emotional weight at the moment, but for Zwick, it wasn't enough. The tear was done well enough that it's nearly impossible to tell that it wasn't Connolly's. Many film purists questioned the director's decision to superficially add weight to the scene, but no one was probably angrier than Connolly. So I really hope you enjoyed that video, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for brand new videos every day of the week. Also, I've got another channel, it's called Biographics. It's biographies of notable people from the present day, as well as history from Elon Musk to Osama bin Laden. You can check it out through the icon on the screen now. But if you want something else to watch right now, why not check out another Top 10s video or a Biographics video over there on the right. And as always, thank you for watching.